yeah, if I can help you at all, just let me know. All right, thank you so much. Good. What do you think it's about the session? How how is it? Uh, it was. I think it was really good. Like I think you pointed out so many things, like details that I've not that I miss myself, right? And I think just by you pointing out the detail I need to go into, it's like because I have had, I have had other coaching as well, and they like they talk about like I need to go into more details, but I've never like seen it so clearly like what kind of details I need to look at, like. Uh, so I think that was super good. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll d this will definitely improve me if I just take the time. Hey guys, Perfect. today we're going to help a Master Tier player push for a Grandmaster. The tips in this video will be focused on perfect wave management, clean recall timings and challenger macros. So if you want to learn, make sure you stick till the end and subscribe if you want to see more. Remember that what you're seeing right now is a premium personalized coaching session. This guy booked his coaching with me when he was hard stuck in Silver 2 with around 45% win rate. Right now, after around two weeks, he climbed instantly to gold too, just from one coaching session. This is another person that climbed from platinum to master tier with my coaching. Here is another guy, gold to master tier, currently actually pushing for grandmaster with my coaching. Are you tired of feeling stuck in your current rank and unable to climb the ladder? Or do you find yourself struggling to convert winning games and make progress? If you're serious about improving it and you want to get your gameplay to the next level, go ahead and book your own personalized coaching session and start instantly. I'll see you in the session. Okay, good. So let's take a look at this. So what did we say we have to do in this this uh, this matchup? I guess poke him. True. Um, until when? And until lost chapter. Okay, so at this point in time, what do you think we have to do? Um, I guess when the push is secured, maybe it's easier to just harass him when minions get low for him. Like the, the blue okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. So, so right now... What is um, the best usage of the Q? And of course, you can actually use it on the wave or you can use it on him. But specifically, right now in this, uh, in this at this point in time, I guess option one is like wait for the the blue minion in the middle uh, to get low and then Q him if True. he goes for it. Yes. Or option two is just Q all the minions and like try to crash the wave and then Q him under turret when True. he is back up again. True. But what if you Q him now? And who has the push right now? Uh, I have the push. Okay, so you're gonna crash anyway, so you can poke him now with Q and also into the tower. Makes sense. <laughs> because we said that we need to play aggressive until lost chapter. Let's see what we did here. Because I remember what we did here. Let's see. Good. Good. A bit too close to him. He's gonna use his W very soon to you, but good. That Q, you see? Yeah. This Q, I think if we're gonna analyze right now 20 games in Grandmaster, no one, no one will do it. Because this Q is telling Zerat, hey bro, just have some farm, man. Let's, let's do a bro lane. Let's do yeah, a bro yeah. lane, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. Like, he wants the bro lane because he wants the lost chapter. But after he, he has the lost chapter, he's going to say, Ah, oh, Rihanna, well, I'm not your brother anymore, sorry. I'm just going to kill you. So, yeah. let's see. So, this is a Q on the minion. So, you got the push, good. But the second step number two is let's poke him after you got the push. Because yeah. he doesn't have lost chapter. And after lost chapter... You, you can push, you can push and you can consider poking, but poking is not as important as before Lost Chapter. Just because yeah. if you try to poke him after Lost Chapter, he, he can also chunk you. So it's not good. Yeah. So I, I want to brawl in instead. <laughs> exactly. So let's see what you're going to do. So if you keep pushing here, this is nice. Q him. This is nice. This is nice. If you Q the wave, or only the wave and not him too. That's bad. Okay, Q here. Okay, try to space on his W. This was not bad. This was not bad. Let's see if the next Q is still on the minions. I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. Okay, okay. You get on him. That's good. That's good. That's good. This is a matchup where I personally go E, level 2, for example. Um, yeah. He, it will be very nice. Good. So here, I think he can be a little bit, just a little bit more like this. If you if you try to use more Qs on him. He still has one yeah. potion, so he will be, but he's going to be a little bit more under pressure. If you use more Qs on him. Good word. Good QW. Okay, perfect. Good. So we got into a point where it's really good. Okay. Okay, you put the word. Do you know... Did you know where is this in here? I'm not sure. I don't really remember. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think I do definitely do get lazy sometimes. And I don't really double check where they start. Like that can for sure happen in some games. When I like autopilot. So I'm not sure if I if I knew he was exactly like uh, on red here, uh, on red side start. Okay, but you knew like 
you you expected him to gank you soon. Yeah, I know. Like two minutes thirty, like he should be done with his with three camps, and if he starts red, he's gonna gank me from red potentially after his three ganks. Okay. Uh, especially when I'm pushing and trading like a bit, a bit aggressively, I guess. Okay, so now now right now, what is the way for pushing right now? It's pushing towards me if because it's closer to his turret. True. If perfect, good information to know this. Try to actually go for the bit of poke. Let's see what you're gonna do right now. Very nice dodge. Listen is gonna try to do this. Good. Okay. Zelat has no potions. It's a huge information because you still have potions. Okay, okay, let's see this. One second, because this is bad. Okay, so okay. Where is the way pushing right now? It's still push uh yes, the cannon is pretty low. Um let's I think it's pushing to him again because the cannon is okay. too healthy. Now, especially because I hit the cannon. <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. If you don't hit the cannon, I think it's really close and it can actually push into you. Yeah. In this case, because of the next wave that is coming faster to, to their tower. Because yeah. this much of his, uh, HP lead in terms of a cannon is something, but when the next wave is going to come, it's just going to make the wave push into you. So then you want to ask yourself, what are the benefits of letting the wave to come into you here? Um, I guess Jorwan can gank after full clear. True, because um, he just has two cams. True. What else? And um, I can like harass Seraph because he has to use his abilities on the way. If yeah. I'm not gonna freeze. Yeah, exactly. And then you also have potions. So if you trade, basically, if you take a bad trade, you you do, you do he does three hundred to you, and you do one hundred sixty to him, or one hundred fifty half. You still win. You have three potions. So a potion yeah. is what 150, so it's like 300 health plus biscuit is what 8% of health, piecing health or what? How is it? I don't remember actually. So let's see, biscuits. That much wood. It's a lol wiki. Maybe six percent. It is. It's fifteen percent, I think. Oh, it's fifteen percent. Yeah, I think it's fifteen. Where has it been reduced? Maybe I don't know. Five dollars! If you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster but you cannot afford booking coaching on my Patreon, you can access more than 627 VOD reviews, premium videos about how to wave management, mid game macro, and tire lists that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your ELO. And these are not on YouTube, this is only on Patreon, they're exclusive. This is just five dollars. Go ahead and check it right now. Health ratio. Okay, it's 10%. It's yeah, simple, it has, yeah, which it, is good, it used to be 15, yeah, okay. which is pretty okay, actually, if you think about it. It's not that bad. So here, this is what you should do. You should ask yourself, hey, can I take the poke of the Zerat or trade HP with him? Usually the answer is always no. Azir, Zerat, you don't want to trade. You don't want you to, as in, you don't want to trade HP, as in, don't want to let the wave to come into you and handicap yourself with that. Because if you push the wave into them, it's naturally good. But now, with this Zerat, with this mana, he doesn't have enough mana to actually kill you when you have three potions. So then you should let the wave to come into you. And if you yep. do that, he's fucked. Because look, here's W. Now, he only has mana for what? Three Ws? Sure, but what is he gonna do with the wave? So, what we didn't do good in this lane is one, we didn't poke him hard enough. We didn't try to poke him. And now is the point where you let the wave to come into you. Yeah, and now it's mega pushing to him. Yes. It? So the only reason why you would have the wave to push into him is if you if he has full mana and you need to push him. Yeah. Or if you need prior for something. Let's say Jarvan is trying to get scuttle or but Jarvan has two camps up, you don't need prior now. You no. just don't need it right now. Because this is just gonna overextend you. And then from this point you just have to push, 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 push. And it's also bad if you watch Dopa, Dopa is never using the W here. When he's queuing like this, he never ever uses W here. But why? Why style do you think that's the case? Um, because it kills off the minions too much. Okay, good. And I get two um maybe. Okay. Can you kill him? No. No. Can you kill him in the next minute? No. No. Not so then why W? Bounces. Why why do we use W on him? You should use Q to poke him a bit, to show him who is the boss in the lane, to like pressure him a bit, so we can actually force him to back off. But that's all, W is 60 mana? No, my, the Q is 35 mana. That's all what you can afford. Because now you W, yeah. but you're like, oh shit, I need to use the biscuit. Well, yeah, now we need to use the biscuit. 
So this is like micro things, but between zero LP yeah. player and 300 LP, this is basically what you need. So we have wave management, we have laning mechanics as in who, when do we poke, when do we play for the push. And we have too much, too much split push slash side lane style. So this is what we have, which is are kind of big things, but they should be relatively easy to, to fix. Let's see what recall you're actually going to get right now. So you calculated the uh, 700 gold for the tier as well and, and boots, right? Yeah, uh, and I had, like, since I had the potions left, I don't think I needed refillable, so... Um, I think that's why I... Okay. That's the plan. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see how he is in the lane phase right now. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So what kind of recall are you gonna get right here? So he is relatively low into the tower, but you are relatively low on the mana. So you just recall and then you TP and then after you TP I want you to either double yourself, freeze the wave sh and stop his recall. Let's see. You walk out. Yeah, I think I, I messed up here. <laughs> Let's see. This is a very free free wave state. Let's see. Don't let him get the cannon. Okay, your clicks are very bad. So this is this is what I expected as well when you first uh, show me your PGG. Yeah. Is is because it's like Okay, let's analyze this. Full HP Oriana, full mana. Completely low mana, low HP. Zerat. Um, okay, we have items. He's gonna TP as well. What should we do right now? We should try to, well, poke him. Well, first of all, don't let him push the wave. But most importantly, don't let him crash. So either try to poke him as he's doing it or trim the wave in the meantime. So you can make sure you freeze here. And uh, then you can stop his recall. But the worst clicks that you can have, you can literally walk up, face tank his Q, and then just prank him completely. Yeah. Because here you're like, okay, but I'm scared, I'm scared. Wait, why? Look at the clicks. So it's not only just once. It actually happens, you're clicking back, and then you're walking up, then you're clicking back again. That's not good. It's not good. Okay, 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 okay. So it feels like we're playing over the save. And I did expected this. So this is because of the Nico. This is because of the Nico. Uh, it's a pattern. It's a pattern that like you have something in, in you that like forces you to click back because you don't have this tendency to like know that you can play aggressive by default. You have to consciously think about, hey, I need to play aggressive now. You don't have the, yeah. the pattern in you. Like for example, a Syndra main, he will walk up massively even though he's gonna be platinum it's just with Syndra the default state is let me poke him so yeah. here let's see how many clicks you do behind so I do one two clicks behind three clicks behind four clicks behind okay so you do a lot okay so here you should tank the wave e yourself tank the wave stop his recall yeah I don't I just let it crash it's a big mistake <laughs> okay oh you actually let it Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. So it's not stopping him is also a mistake, but the fact that you, you let the wave crash is even bigger. And you should stop his recall. Like imagine having a freeze, stop his recall. He's tilted. We can ask jungle to come. We have not no camps here, so Jarvan either can stays here, wait his TP and kill him, or take his flash, which yeah, yeah. is awesome because you're gonna be level six. He's gonna be level six as well. It's so GG. It's so GG. Yeah, so we're letting him to play too much. We're letting him to play too much. I guess what it could be that you're having problems against Zerat is that maybe because of the wave management, when you're playing the wave management against a Syndra or against another champion, if you're playing with the same bad wave management as against a Zerat, maybe it can actually be worse. This is why you, you can feel like a bit worse yeah. against Zerat. I think also like as soon as I play against Seraph, I just when he queues, I just go into dodge mode. Like yes, I yes, don't, yes, yes. I don't think you can see it because I just yes, walk around. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. He, like you said, I can just face tank a Q, but when as soon as he starts channeling Q, I just go into dodge mode and I click back and I click everywhere to just dodge the Q. Exactly. I think that might be something as well. And then here, this is he gets his lost chapter. So all what you have to do is what. Um, just. Ignore him, just try and kill yeah. the minions and... Exactly, push, yeah. exactly. I wouldn't double it the wave, though I would just Q, because for the same reason, because your W is quite expensive in mana. Like, now that you're using the QW, mm, I wouldn't use W. The Q is not bad, because now he has lost chapter. The problem is that we did this Q on the minions when he didn't have his lost chapter. Because now, when he has his lost chapter, I like that you're playing to not lose the lane. 
but before you should play to win the lane, not to just not lose the lane. Yeah. And also, like, I think you're executed quite weak. Like here, QW, let's see. You could actually QW like this if you really wanted. Like hit yeah. all of the minions. And then you just push. So if you're playing the lane to win now, it's bad. Yeah, you're having a lot of Ws on the wave. You should try to watch Dopa a bit. Dopa never uses W on the minions like this, unless he has a lot of mana or he doesn't care. He just uses Q, and then he uses Q again, and then he takes the Q with the E, just to hit it one more time, and then auto attacks and it's enough. Ooh, that is cool. Um, Let's see. Nice. Can you do something here? Can you flash the... Can you flash the... In the front of Lee and actually just kill him here? Okay, can't really do that. Nice R. I like that you're getting closer to him. Okay, couldn't really save him. Then you go back to mid. Here we are in lucky. Try to dodge this. Nice. You have 30. How much ping you have? 23? Um, 33, yeah, I think 33. Okay. Usually. Can sometimes be a bit lower, but like, yeah, around 28 to 33. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I see, and now it's gonna just gonna be suffering because it's like Zerat and he he poked you. Now he still has flash though, so either way you're gonna lose to V2 pretty hard. I see, I see, and then from this point it's gonna be suffering, but yeah, yeah. this like now he you see he's punishing you. The thing is, he, this is normal. He's punishing you, but you should also punish him until this point. The problem is that we didn't punish him because I think in high elo what this like what usually happens in solo queue is like Oriana gets a CS lead like a 10-15 CS lead against a Zerat like a really good Oriana maybe not yeah. 15 but 10 but then Zerat is gonna poke her out of the lane and she will get back the he will get back the farm difference so they are gonna be even yeah but they're gonna be even after Oriana did the right thing in the early game because mm, if yeah. you're even until last chapter you are in trouble. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like being even against fees. Well, I mean, what are you going to do after he has six? He's going to go on you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. It's good that we, we actually identified these problems. It's good. So we have basically what wave management is big, trading and aggressivity in the laning phase, which we expected. It's relatively big. And we have the pattern when we farm too much on the side lane and we're not considering as much grouping. So these three patterns, we're gonna talk about in the next session as well. Should actually be two, three hundred plus, depending on how fast you're working with these mistakes, how much you're playing. But we need to also a routine and a, a champion pool, a better champion pool. Yeah. Just, just something more stable. So you're saying you said in the beginning of the session that you have a diamond. Well, you said it's not diamond. Uh, what rank is it? Uh, my other account. Yes. Um. I think it's Emerald, like low Emerald, but I can probably rank it up decently quick. Like if I, if if I, if you mean like I should get a secondary account. Yes, yes, yes. Just to like practice, because we need to have a solo Q tryhard account and a practice for competitive champions account. Okay. Because if you want to play Silas first time on this account, it's like ugh, you know, or like not first time, but not as tryhard yeah. as the others. So you play on this one something that is like really meta and something that you're performing really well. And then after that, you are, you're playing something else. Okay, so then yep. this is kind of normal what happens after. I just want to see. So he has Leandris. You have, you're pretty behind in, in items. I hope you're not going to play the lane to win it. Let's see. I hope you're not going to queue towards him and stuff like that. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So if you're queuing him, that's not good. Okay, please. Just push, 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 push. Don't try to touch him. Okay, back off. Good. That's fine. Close. Yeah, from this point it's gonna be very tough. Very, very, very tough. You need jungle pressure, you need... It's gonna be hard, you just need to play for the... Okay, wait. Did you use W? Let's see. Yeah, good. Eat, good, good. Okay, let's see the clicking a bit. 
Oh, nicht da klicken. It's interesting. Let's see. Okay. Mm, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, we need to learn how to dodge. That's, uh, that's also why you're not... Uh, okay, let me go into... Practice tool. Let me show you how to how you dodge and then let me show you how to dodge. Can I play... Okay, let's play. Because what you're doing right here is like you're dodging like this. Let's see. Let me show you. Okay. Dodging up, 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 down, 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 down. Yeah, you're doing it too long. It's very easy. Yeah. So it's very easy for him to see a pattern. You went like this all the way. Yeah, and I okay. think just in this case, I just, I just want to say I like it. I don't think I normally do this like this kind of dodging. I just think I wanted to mind game him a bit because usually people don't walk in a straight line, right? Um, yes. Oh uh, yes. At, yes, at, le at, le at least like uh, at master di high diamond, like people usually don't like just walk in a straight line. So I think that was my idea here with like just because it looks like I'm just running in one direction, which I am, is, which I am, right? Uh, and I think that was an idea, like just to mind game him a bit. I usually don't dodge like that unless like um, it is a spell that kind of needs you to be a bit unpredictable, which I think like Seraph Ult with how many uh, charges he has, right? Um, yes, yes, yes. So I think that was the idea. Like I usually don't dodge in a straight line. That's just <laughs> um, so. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, because at the same time, if you do that, I mean, you don't know if he's good or not, right? If he's yeah. a bad player, he will always hit you because he will think that you're actually walking in the straight line. Yeah. If he's a good player, he will see that you're walking in the first line. He will miss the first one. Then you're still walking in the first line. He'll probably miss the second one, but then he's going to hit everything else after. Yeah. And also you're basically dodging a, like super long. You're doing this and then you're dodging this and then you're dodging it's like he can hit two hours from here to here so what you have to do is that you have to do it like this instead of doing it like this like how you're doing it is like this yeah it's too slow it's too long it has to be more like this move 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 like super unpredictable like you basically have one two three clicks left la right one two three clicks left left right because you're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, then you're doing left. Then you're doing yeah. left. He's doing this. So this is huge against Zerat because they will not, they will not, maybe we can actually see like a pro player or something. They will uh, Zerat Korean maybe. Mm. Zerat triple. Always Grandmaster, let's see. Maybe we can see it, the enemy players. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, this is a brand. I hope he's a main mid lane. So let's see how he's gonna dodge. If he's gonna dodge like very short or very long. But usually that's how, and this is how you dodge against Ari. This is how you dodge against Syndra. This is how you dodge against everyone. Yeah. It's like quite important. Okay, so I want to make a card with all of the things that we actually uh, talked about today. So what do you think are the most important things that we talked about today? Um, I think definitely like wave state is very important and the side laning thing, like for sure. Uh, those are the absolute like biggest ones. I think definitely wave state maybe because like there's there's there are the things that you pointed out, they're really small, but they make like a big difference, right? Um, um, so yeah, I, th I think like waste it, maybe the biggest, then obviously side lane uh, decision making and the macro there is is uh, number two, maybe. Perfect, perfect, um, perfect. And I think like the thing that you said, like I should probably maybe set up a secondary account, which I play like other champs that I want to learn. 
uh, is probably a good idea as well. Um, and just have a like a really try hard account for meta stuff and then a learning account or, uh, for for the other champs. So yeah, I think uh, unless I missed something that you that you think I should do, but. Perfect, 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 perfect. That's good. So wave management, we have setting up freeze a lot more, understanding the concept of freezing and slow pushing into you or into the enemy more. Inside learning yep. too much is in macro, like prioritizing being around the team uh, and hovering them instead of just, hey, FTP, let me just be the Yorick kind of playstyle in the team. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, here. Elves Grandmaster, and I think you're gonna see it in every replay, every replay. Let's see if we can see here. Second account, let me see if there is anything else here. Okay, like here, look at this, look at the brand. So let's see the dodging. So he, look at this dodging. So he goes left, then he goes right, then he goes left. You see how fast he goes? Yeah. So he goes, he goes left, then he goes right, then he goes left. What you did is like, okay, then like this, too long. You're giving him yeah. too much, too much space freedom to actually predict your pattern. You have to like exactly like this guy. And you can see even in the first queue, like he tries to, let's see. So he tries to queue. Okay, this one he couldn't dodge it. But the next one, yeah, look at the brand. On the left, let's see. On the, okay, this one he didn't, we didn't really see. But the next one, okay, this one tries to queue. He dodges it. Left, right, left, you see? Left, yeah. right, left, right, instead of left, right. This is you, and this is like brand Grandmaster. And it's very difficult to predict if you dodge like this. If you, if you get good at this, it's very difficult. Yeah. Because it's, it's the, the hardest pattern to, to, to predict from all of the patterns. I think, I think like in general, I have an easier time dodging things like Syndra Q and yes. stuff like that are not linear as the Syndra yes. Q is. It's way, I think I have a lot of more issues that dodging I think that's why that might be why I struggle a bit more against Seraph as well. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, is there anything else that I said? Let me see. Okay, where is uh, the one where I put this one? Okay, in my jungle. Okay, this one with the jungle, not enough damage. Oh yeah, the trading in the lane. Did I say the trading in the lane? We didn't actually put it right. The, the fact that we're playing too safe, too defensive in the lane. Trading, mm, yeah. trading inside of the lane phase in matchups where we must punish before enemy will hit last chapter. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then, yeah, thinking I can play a lot of champions. I think you can have another account and on this one you can keep like two, two champions. And that would be basically the best. Two champions one, or maybe three if you really want it. On the other account you play everything, but only on this one you play the best champions that you have in the meta. Oriana and one more. It could be could be a great strategy. And then if you wanna practice something else, get your, your Emerald account, get it into high diamond and practice practice there. Mm. It's good. Just just a question, like on main account. So say if I play like Oriana and Syndra as, as main champs, for example, like uh, and I we are basically full AP pretty much. Should I just dodge instead of trying to play like an AD champion and just like play the AD champion on my other account or what? What, what do you think? On your main Should account? Try? Yeah. So if if say if on my main account like my whole lobby is AP and uh, like I should go 